Hi people, it's Archivist here, and today I hope you'll join me in taking a look at Mario Tennis Aces for Nintendo Switch. It's all too easy to underestimate a Mario Tennis game. I know I've caught myself latching onto the prejudice that they are little more than sports games with a colourful Mario style reskin, and while the underlying game of tennis does indeed serve as a strong foundation for what we have here, there are a number of interesting gameplay additions that add extra layers of dynamism to what is already a very methodical game. In Mario Tennis you have four core modes, Adventure, Free Play, Tournament and Swing Mode. Starting with Adventure, here we have a surprisingly elaborate scenario where Luigi is kidnapped by Wario and Waluigi with the aid of an evil tennis racket. Thankfully this being a Mario game, that absurd premise is actually pretty standard. Though it's fair to say that beyond the premise, nothing much more interesting comes to the narrative. You have conversations with characters you meet and inevitably challenge to tennis along your adventure, though these are all done through text boxes and there is no voice acting, other than of course the odd wahoo or intangible noise from Toad. You travel across the land via a Mario Bros style overworld. I actually thought it was a very nice touch as it adds a bit more scope to your journey that may have otherwise been lost. There's also a decent variety of calls, in fact more variety than you'll find in any other area of the game. It's not always just a simple game of tennis either. Sometimes you'll be defeating enemies by returning their projectiles right back at them, and other times you'll be taking on bosses. Without a doubt it can be a bit contrived to take on a boss using a tennis racket, but I have to give them major props for creative use of the trick shot which sometimes sees Mario vaulting over enemy attacks. It's a decent offering the adventure mode, however it has to be said that even with the optional side missions, it comes in way too short. We're talking about roughly 4 hours here, which isn't great. It's something of a quality over quantity scenario, though given the price of the game on release, I do feel the length is too short. Moving on now to tournament mode. This is where I feel the bulk of the game's value comes into play, despite it technically offering less content than adventure mode. The basic premise is that players will face off against each other until only the two best remain. The winner of the final match will then be named the Tournament Champion. Offline this is pretty easy to achieve, and in fact I'd recommend playing through all three offline cups as a means of training. It's here that you'll learn the mechanics of the game, which also gives me a decent opportunity to give you an overview of them. Naturally you have the standard tennis shots, there's the slice, top, flat, lob and drop shot, each one giving you variations on speed and angle. Each of these strikes can be charged before performing the shot, which in turn gives you energy for some truly spectacular moves. There's the trick shot, which if used preemptively can itself grant a lot of energy, or if it's used late as a means of recovery it will drain energy. There's the zone shot, a definite favourite of mine, where you can carefully aim your strike and then hit with incredible force. However, the fact that while you aim, your energy continues to drain forces you to balance precision with speed. And finally, you have the special shot. Functionally, it's very similar to a zone shot, but with the added bonus of shattering the opponent's rackets if they manage to mess up their counter-attack. Also, it looks a fair bit more flashy. So speaking of counters, we can also slow down time, but even if you slow down time, this will in turn drain energy. But if you slow down time, this will give you enough time of your own to then react and potentially block the shot of either a special shot or a zone shot. But if you mess up your shot by striking too soon or too late, you can, well in the case of a zone shot, damage your racket, or in the case of a special shot, actually shatter your racket. If you lose all of your rackets, then you can be KO'd and just be knocked out through that. So this brings us onto the fact that you can either win a match through KOs, knocking your opponent out, or just conventionally beating them through tennis. Then taking all this knowledge online and executing it well is where I truly believe Mario Tennis Aces shines. It goes from simply understanding your options to understanding your opponent and anticipating exactly what they're planning. It's both a test of your reactions, but also your cunning. Adding a further component to the game's challenge are the different attributes of the various characters. 
For example, Yoshi is rather fast, so he can very quickly move into position and retaliate, but then you have characters like Bowser who are very powerful and keep the pressure up on the opponent. Moving on now very quickly to free play mode, this offers pretty much what you'd expect. You can select from courts you've unlocked in adventure mode and modify the rules to your liking. So far my only real use for this has been to set up local multiplayer games on the same console. And finally you have swing mode. Swing mode utilises the motion sensors in the Switch Joy-Cons to give you a more involved game of tennis. In this mode I definitely say the basic shots become a lot harder to properly utilise as ultimately it comes down to your own ability to direct them rather than just a simple button push. I think the inclusion of swing mode was a savvy one. They've really appeased the Wii tennis crowd in that you do have those motion controls to play tennis with and you know what as a side activity it's very fun but at the same time they haven't muddied the water of competitive play by introducing it into the main online tournaments. I think it's been very well positioned here and its inclusion is certainly appreciated. All in all, I'm a big fan of Mario Tennis Aces. Sure, the adventure mode is lacking in terms of content, it really could have stood to have been a bit longer, but the online tournaments are so much fun that that is where I see people getting the core amount of their replay value. However, that is something to think about there. If you're not a fan of online tournaments or just online play in general, I think your enjoyment of Mario Tennis Aces will be severely hampered. However, for those craving a refined tennis experience on the Switch with a dash of the old Mario charm, Aces might just be for you.